What's up everyone, this is Sly for King here, and today you join me for another one of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Lightning Overdrive Booster Box openings. Now, last week I have to say I did uh, pretty good luck, I have to say, uh, in opening up the box. Uh, I got a good amount of stuff I needed, along with one or two pleasant surprises as well. However, this week, now that this is the second box, I know specifically what I'm looking for, and that is Ruddy Rose Dragon. <clears throat> So, yes, uh, so the main card I'm looking for now is the Secret Rare to the Roses. And actually, I didn't get any of the Rose uh, Hollows last time. Uh, so that would be quite nice to get as well. Uh, the other card I need is the Ultra Rare ZW as well. Uh, especially because I need a place out of that. So, uh, let's see what I can get. Um, I would also take some of the Amaze cards as well because I think... The Amaze, yeah, the Amaze Arts type has a couple of secret rares, and I think that's going to be the, um, I think that's basically going to be the money deck, uh, in the meta, I'd probably say. Oh, jeez, this, I'll tell you what, this box, this box is falling apart, um, quite surprising. Also, like I ex explained in my last video, um, <clears throat> my hand might look a bit weird because I injured it a uh, inadvertently injured it, so injured, there we go, injured it a couple of days ago, so that's why it looks a bit weird, if you notice that, well you probably will now anyway, <laughs> okay first pack, what are we going to get, uh, oh there's the, uh, I think that's the short print if I'm correct, or the uncommon, hey finally, oh that's, <laughs> that's really good, starting off with uh, Ruddy Rose Witch, so, um, I have to be careful how I say that, actually. Um, so, yes, um, like I said, didn't get any of the um, super rares for the... So, I didn't get any of the hollows for the roses last time. But, uh, yeah, all these starting off with one. So, that's uh, that's very good. I say um, I say that because um, I pretty much got everything I needed for the ZWs in the last... In the, sorry, in the last box. Um, apart from the ZW... Um, Sorry, the ZS Ultra Rare. So, yeah, um, not doing too bad. And, of course, it's already been confirmed that in the next set, we're going to get new support for Gustos and Chronomalies. So, I will be buying a box for that. <laughs> really? Rocks Rose Dragon? Ah, oh, that's that's the Super Ultra Gang. I was forgetting about Rocks Rose Dragon. So, <laughs> that's quite funny. Maybe this is a Rose Box. I'd, I'd really, uh, really appreciate if it was, I have to say. There's the Bujin Pegasus version. Oh, uh, our first Ultra, and it is Live Star Twin Kais Frost. Okay, I'm not sure how to pronounce the middle word. But yeah, uh, if, if, okay, I don't know what art style that is. But it's a bit, it's a bit unusual seeing a star symbol when, uh, in TCG, in English TCG cards, I mean, symbols have been in Japanese cards for years, but not really in English. I'm getting a lot of this card, I have to say, a lot of the amazement uh, park. Uh, branded in white. Oh yeah, I haven't pulled the lava. Synchro, synch uh, synchro yet. Like I said with Larvels in the last video, um, I would like to build them, but every time I've tried to make them, I just can't seem to make it work. So, I just, I don't know, I had to give up on that, sadly. Uh, Pegasus Twin Saber. Never Amazement. The Amazement cards, it's like, it's like it's saying, try and build a budget version. Don't use the Secret Rares, because... Getting a lot of them, that's for sure. Uh, proof of Perfless, Perfless, or something like that. Like I said, if you know me by now, my pronunciation is not brilliant. Hmm. Uh, oh, I haven't got this one yet. Uh, so that's Supreme Sovereign Serpent of Focus. Uh, Gol Gonda. Okay. 
So, Great Sand Sea Gold Gonda, okay. No idea what arts type that is. Apparently, it works for something. Oh, uh, okay, and a War Rock Ultra. This one is War Rock Dignity. So, you must control a War Rock monster to activate this effect. When, the, when a monster your opponent controls activates its effect, negate that effect. During the battle phase, when your opponent activates its spell slash trap or monster effect, negate that effect. Okay, seems a, seems a decent card. Oh, yeah, there's one by one. I do, like I said, I like the concept of one by one. So kind of a little bit of a throwback, if you could say, I think, with its concept. Uh, oh, I didn't know this was in the set. Oh, okay. Uh, this is actually quite intriguing because one of my deck profiles actually does need this card in English. So this is uh, Ida, the Sun Magician. Uh, now, I can't remember which deck profile needed this. Um, so, yes, let's have a look. So, if you can special summon one spellcaster, 1500. Um, ooh, I can't remember which deck profile uses this. I have to definitely check my deck profiles because I had no idea that that was in the set. So, I definitely need a place at that. So, that's actually a really pleasant surprise. Now I just need the Frost Magician. That's the other <clears throat> that's the other OCG card I need. Uh, okay, another one of those. I've got a place there already, so that's not really uh not really wanted anymore, I have to admit. Edit, what what could it be some magician? Well the only thing the only thing that comes to mind regarding spell cards is for me is um it's gotta be the magician girls, but I don't think I used it in that. So, I wonder what I used it with. Oh, Rose Rod's Dragon. Good. I'll take another one of those. I uh, haven't, haven't pulled a Seeker Ray yet. Now, last time I said that, uh, I actually did get the Seeker Ray. So, it'll be interesting to see if that happens twice. Dogmatica. <laughs> really? Really? <clears throat> That's... Two videos in a row I've said I haven't pulled a secret ray yet and I'll pull it. So this is Diviner of the Herald and I believe this actually might be possibly, well, at the time of recording this video, so I know, um, when the pre-releases came out, uh, a couple websites had this as the highest value card. Um, I'm not sure why because I haven't really researched into it. Uh, Fairy Monster, the recent... So obviously it works with the Herald Arts type, um, but yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to see what the prices are. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the prices are because I'll be honest. Apart from maybe the the first secret I pulled in the last box, um, I don't think I'm going to keep the secret res unless it's Ruddy Rose Dragon. Uh, try to get. Oh yeah, there's a new. Uh, uh, oh, I forgot the name of the card. Oh, maybe that's it. Uh, Edit the Sun position. Maybe that was with the Charmers. That's it. Yeah, maybe it was with the Charmer Arts type. That could be uh, could be what it's for. And speaking of which, uh, there's a new Charmer. The light version is in here. Uh, but that's not it. That's Sun uh, Vylon Melus. So, I'm, if I'm correct, I'm still missing two Ultras and a Secret. So, it's going to be interesting to see what I get. Uh, okay, there's one of them. A Maze Attracts uh, Cyclo, uh, Cyclo Coaster. There we go. Uh, yeah, do seem to be pulling quite a few amazing Maze cards. Don't know why. I don't plan to build them, but maybe they're valuable. Or maybe they're just very common. Uh, oh! Okay, no, I didn't get all the Zaxel cards. So this is actually one 
it looks like I forgot about. So this is actual construction. So uh, this, I think this is a searcher card, if I'm correct. Yeah, reveal one card you've had, and if you do, add one of the following cards to your deck. Uh, then shuffle the reveal card into your deck. So ZW, ZS, Zexal, Spell, says Trap, a rank of magic or a rank down. So, oh yes, okay. That's one card I forgot about. Whoopsie me. And that's actually, uh, that's, that actually might be the most important card to have. Because that's a very powerful searcher. Oh, there's our other secret rare. And I think this is also one which is getting a little bit of hype. Uh, it's, hang on, I'm going to try and pronounce it. Uh, Benga Lancer the Resur Resurrected. Sorry, Resurgent. Um, so yes, this is a plant-based uh, Link Monster. So I haven't tested this yet, uh, mainly because I didn't know this was in here. But uh, yep, so be interesting to see if that's good. Right, so hopefully I can still get up one last ultra. I've got five packs left. It looks like we're not going to get Ruddy Rose Dragon, unfortunately. Uh, oh, I haven't pulled this card yet. Dark Infant Ignister. So it's one of the Ignisters I haven't pulled. So I'd also take at this point another Zexal Construction. Uh, I would also take the light charmer link and something like that uh form this the disciplined angel Ooh, nearly put it in the secret rare pile that would not have been a good idea oh okay there's our fourth ultra so this is mysterion the dragon crown Okay, so this is a spell cast and the dragon. Uh, so it loses a hundred for each of your banished cards. If a monster. Okay. Um, personally, the only the uh, the only thing I could think that you might use that uh, that I use is the either blue eyes or dark magician. Those are the only two decks I can think of that might use that, but. I'm not sure. Oh, well, Buster Blade is possible. At least I think Buster Blade, at least I think that has a, a spellcaster in the deck. Might be wrong. Hey, okay. Uh, Love of all, uh, X-Lord. Um, I paused for a second because I thought, what's, what cards are Synchroids? That's Hollows. So, yeah, okay. We did get the level. Okay, last pack. What are we going to end with? Can we end with a Rose or a ZW card? Or the Light Charmer? It is... Oh, the Bujin uh, Turofoon. Oh, and there's the level, there's the level spell card right there. So, overall, um, would I say that's as good as a box? Um, it's hard to say, really. Um, if we're talking about supplies, um, I definitely got a lot more of the rose cards than, um, well, actually, I didn't get any of the rose cards in the last box, so that's uh, decent enough. Um, with the secret rares, I don't know which box has the better has the better value. Obviously, I'll know by the time this bo this uh, video goes out which ones I would have had the better luck with. But if we're talking about ultras. Definitely had better luck with the last one for the cards I needed at least. But yeah, overall, it's just nice to open up a, uh, a booster box again because it's been nearly two months now since I last opened the product because the last one was Ghost from the Past, which I was a little disappointed with that, I have to admit. But this, I think, made up for it. So there has been an opening of a second Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Lightning Overdrive box. If you've enjoyed today's opening uh, and if you want to know when my newest openings will be coming out, then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to know when my newest videos will be coming out. I hope you've enjoyed and for now this is Cypher King signing out.